Good morning everybody and welcome to sunny Stockholm. Today we're going to be heading around the entire city and photographing some of the best insta locations that Stockholm has to offer and trust me there are a lot. This is what I pictured when we were talking about coming to Stockholm. Now we are only 50 meters from our hotel and we're already at stop number one here at the canal where there's beautiful boats that line the whole way up. Now we're off to the next location and we're taking the subway and then the boat. And so you can get a 24 hour ticket for the public transport for 166. So that's about 16 US dollars or euros. Yeah, a few days ago we took two trips and it cost us about 100 sec. So this will be much better to be able to use it all day. Use the boat, use the trains. The buses, the trams, yeah. everything. So that's really good. Very good. So a train ride and a ferry ride later and we are now on. You'll got them. And if you didn't know, Stockholm is built up of 14 islands <laughs> and 57 bridges that connect it all. Ferries are a great way to get around and the ticket was included in the price of the train ticket. So as soon as you get off the boat on the ferry, you've got the theme park right here, which is the oldest theme park in Sweden. And if we had a smaller camera, we'd be going on the rides to show it to you, but uh, we don't. So we can't go on it today, but when we're in Gothenburg, we will show you the biggest theme park in all of Scandinavia. There's these amazing guys that walk around that are dressed up in the old gear that they used to wear a few hundred years ago and they were really friendly. We started talking about Melbourne and Sweden and one of the guys actually had family in Melbourne that were in lockdown at the moment so he could relate. So here behind us is the ABBA Museum. Now this might interest a lot of you, I know it would interest my mum. She always listened to ABBA, so I can respect it and I don't mind listening to it, but I didn't think that paying 260 sec per person was feasible to go in and have a look at the ABBA museum. Josie's just gone into the bathroom and something that just blows my mind being from Melbourne, Australia, is that here you have to pay. Just walking along here, along the water, there's so many nice restaurants and cafes lining the, the harbor. And so many museums. So many. So there's the Viking Museum, the Booze Museum, and the Vasa Museum. And the Vasa ship is actually the only warship from the 1600s that is fully intact in the whole world. Okay guys, so we're at the next spot. And this place is absolutely amazing. It's incredible. We're walking through a park now. Water on one side, some trees, and a castle on the other side. And we're gonna go to a lookout point where we can hopefully get some nice shots. Next location here on Yulegården and this view is just beautiful and really anywhere you go here on this island it's, it's just stunning so you can just find your favorite spot and get on it. Back on the ferry! We have now stopped for a classic Swedish bakery at the oldest bakery in Stockholm and it was established in 1785. So we got some coffees and a lemon meringue pie and it looks absolutely amazing. Look at all that meringue. And this place also offers free refills on your coffee as well. Coffee shops, why aren't you doing this? It is so good. Next on the list is this tiny little alleyway in Old Town and there are so many photographers here it's hard to get a shot so we had to be quick but I think they came out alright. The good thing about Old Town is that around every single corner there's somewhere you can take a photo. And we've got Jerusalem Kebab and Cafe here so if you don't know where we are that is where we are. On the other side of this tunnel here you can get beautiful beautiful photos. The main square in Old Town is one of the best locations in all of Stockholm to get some really good photos. Because you can take photos of pretty much every single corner of this square. Up on the terrace by the Royal Palace is another great location to take some really cool photos.
So we're back on the farm now. I'm currently in the process of editing this video. We've just finished our trip, but uh, I just want to say that in the last vlog, I did mention that things didn't quite go to plan in the next video, and I showed you this clip here. Now, this could not be more true. When we were at the palace, we actually happened to hit 200 subscribers on YouTube, and we were very, very excited, so we decided to go have one beer to celebrate, which ended up turning into two, three, four, five, six, seven, at the pirate bar and yeah before we knew it it was 2 a.m in the morning and we were absolutely wasted we'd met all these amazing people at the pirate and the viking bar and we went out and partied with them so uh things didn't quite go to plan we did still want to hit a few more places that we weren't able to so i thought i'd show you them now now firstly is that the train stations in stockholm are absolutely incredible we highly recommend going and visiting a lot of the train stations because they look like this they look absolutely beautiful and they're perfect for photography we are really sad that we didn't get to make it to these train stations but we highly recommend that you go visit them especially if you're a photographer now the next one is on the river that just leads into old town on the way from langholm and which is where the prison hotel that we were staying at now if you haven't seen that vlog go check that out i'll leave the link up here and uh yeah it, it's absolutely beautiful you can get some amazing shots of the river and the boats and of course the church that you can see here as well it's absolutely fantastic so unfortunately we weren't able to film that because well we partied too hard now at the time of editing this vlog we're now at 382 so we've almost doubled since we filmed this thank you everybody so much for subscribing and following us on our journey we really appreciate it more than you could imagine this is our dream this is our goal and you're helping us to achieve it so thank you all so much now on the 10th episode of this round trip trip around Sweden we've got some really really exciting news to share with you that is going to shape our future so make sure to stay tuned for that and we'll see you all again in the next one see ya